All right, so this is gonna be like just my first uh, YouTube video. Um, really doesn't mean anything. I'm just kind of seeing if, how I'm gonna make them. Anyways, so what I got here are two filing cabinet smokers. Yeah, I know, I could probably just go buy one, be a lot better, but you know what, what's the fun in that? Anyone could just go buy something. So anyways, I got these two cabinets. One was from one work, one job that I worked at, and another one is from a different job. They look pretty similar, however, this one's a little bit longer, maybe like, I don't know, like two inches longer than this one. But they basically do the same thing. So like what I first did when I first got them, uh, pretty much gutted them, tried to clean them. Um, and then I started taking off all these handles. So if I can get it open. Uh, I might have to pry those open just to, um, just to get them open. I'm gonna, I, first thing I did was um, I cut open, oh, you know what, let me, let me do that real quick. All right, I'm back. So anyways, so what I, first thing I did was I basically cut them all, cut all the bottoms out. There was some big plastic piece right here, took that off. Um, cut the bottoms, made these racks. This way, this is where the food sits. Um, did that to all of them. I just don't wanna open up all of them right now. And then on the bottom, I didn't cut the bottom. Um, I really just removed the plastic. And then I just put these trays in there because I use charcoal to start. And I will only ever suggest using the small bags of charcoal. I used the big one at first, and I only did that so the heat would get really, oh, hold on. Yeah, sorry about that. I uh, I live right across the street from this big church, Catholic church. Uh, I'm pretty much used to the bells. Uh, it tells you, it'll ring however many times the time is. So if it's like 10 o'clock, it'll ring 10 times. If it's five o'clock, the bells will go off uh, five times. So I'm used to it. Um, some people that are here that are not used to it, they're like, oh shit, like what is that? But I don't even hear them no more. If anything, I always listen so I can tell what time it is uh, when I am here. But when I'm inside, like I have the uh, glass windows that are like double pane and I, you can barely hear anything. They're soundproof when we're inside. But anyways, okay, back to the grills or the smokers. So uh, anyways, like I said, I got it um, uh, removed anything that I didn't want in there. Some plastic, big old plastic piece, took all those out. Uh, I think I have them over here. These are just parts that I cut out. Really, I mean, I could have just, you know, done holes in there if I wanted to, but I, I like, cause I made one before. <clears throat> I like having the open space because it just gives me, to me, it gives it more surface area for the meat to cook, whatever I'm cooking, uh, more grilling space. If I had just poked holes in here, I don't know, I don't like that as good airflow, especially through the whole thing. So I want, it's almost like not even a smoker to me. <clears throat> to me, it feels like it's more of a, um, like a grill, but you know, I call it a smoker. So anyways, so anyways, again, like I said, uh, I used the uh, two big bags of charcoal, one in that one, one in that one. Uh, turned it on, closed it up. I have these vents. That's the the first one that I made like this. The only other up, the only real upgrade besides these handles, because I noticed it was hard to move when it was hot, if for whatever reason, was the airflow. To me, airflow is very very important. You want good airflow, so you have you can control air coming in and air coming out. Those are the only, this is like, besides this handle, these are the only two things I really changed from my original design. Oh, and I had the initial, um, I had the temperature gauge on the side. I put them in the front where the drawers were. I don't know, to me it looks cleaner like that, it looks better. But anyways, so I, I, and I did the original one, the first one, I only had a couple of holes on the sides. So I noticed I had to always keep this drawer like that. Uh, and I didn't like that. It just, I don't know, to me, the way it is now, it's a lot cleaner. Oops. So anyways, I'm walking around. So anyways, that's what this is for. It allows me to shut it open it a lot of airflow same up top 
Uh, and I'll probably test that when I actually do a cook, because I will do some kind of cooking out here. I'll probably do ribs. Um, and eventually, uh, once I feel like they're ready, I'm probably just gonna try to sell them. Uh, if nobody wants them, that's fine. I'll probably just keep them. I don't care. Uh, you never know when you're gonna need two big ass smokers. <laughs> so, anyways, um, yeah, if anyone has any ideas of what I could have done to it better or worse, or a lot of people have said, oh, well, you know, what about the paint and all that? Well, that's why I burned it. I got the, when I first initially put the two big bags of charcoal in there, uh, I got it up to almost like 600 degrees, and I burned almost everything that I could think of. Everything that could have melted or burnt came out. So, like, you know, anything that I felt like was harmful got burnt out with that, with that cook. Because now, I'll never use that much heat. It'll only ever be the small bags of charcoal, and I'll add wood. I'll add a piece of wood as I'm going to maintain temperature. Because I, I want these to be smokers. And if you look at the thermometer on a smoker, you're talking about like at the max, you want like 250 degrees. You don't want really, really high heat when it comes to smoking. Now, if you want a barbecue, well, hey, you can probably even use the lower ones for, for more heat, like more uh, direct heat. But for smoking, hey, I'll throw a log in every 30 minutes, maintain the temperature, and that's it. Low and slow. No, this is not a grill. I'm not going to be grilling. If I want to grill, I'll go turn, turn on my, my gas grill. So anyways, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, probably put all these handles back on. Uh, I see the paint's a little discolored, but that's because the metal got pretty burned. That's fine. I can live with that. I don't care. The, the, it's the functionality is what I want. So, um, yeah, I'll probably put the handles on. Um, Make sure everything is just kind of working the way it's supposed to. Uh, eventually, I'll probably go live or just post another video of like when I do actual cook something. I think I'm going to do some ribs and maybe uh, some hamburgers or I don't know. Who knows? Whatever's on sale. <laughs> so anyways, uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you subscribe, like, and follow and we'll see what else I come up with. All right. Thanks. Okay. So all the handles are on, you open and close them. Yeah, so um, hopefully I could go live or like I said, make a video of when I actually cook something on here. Um, should be a lot of fun. These were a lot of fun to make. I, uh, I like building projects. A lot of people ask in the videos, they see this boy right here. And this is just something that I kind of did one day because um, I don't know, I was bored. And I've never really been <laughs> in a convertible. Hold on. So I, um, I had this car that I was going to sell, but for whatever reason, I didn't think I would get what I paid for it. And yada, yada, yada. I was, like I said, I was bored. So I had the idea of just making it into like a convertible. And, or not a convertible, just like a chop top. You know, just I've seen other cars like that. I've seen trucks where they were like chop. And I say, you know what? How hard could it be, right? So I think it was Christmas Day of uh, 2000, or no, 19, 2019, I think. And I just got a sawzall, cut it. I think I cut the sides first, those two first. And I think I cut, no, I cut the front. Just cut it all the way straight across and then came back here and I think I cut, we cut right here, we cut the other one and then once we lifted the whole thing up, it basically shattered the glass and I'm still finding glass like to this day in the trunk uh, just from driving around. Plus it has like two, I think it has like a 12 in there uh, just so we can have something nice to listen to. Um, I like it. It's kind of cool. It's different. The doors open up, of course. Well, that one don't. I think that door was broken already. But like, you know, it's it's just something different. Nothing, uh, you know, I'm not trying to invent anything over here. I, I, just, I just wanted to have something that I can drive around in in the summer. Uh, and I usually just stay around town. I, I don't go anywhere else. Um, occasionally I might go to like the next city over, but 
that's kind of rare. Or even to the mountains. It's a nice car just to go into the mountains because the sun's hitting you. Um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's just the old car that I chopped. I don't really care about, you know, what people say. Oh, it's not safe. I'm like, I don't give a shit. If I die, I die. Uh, I don't know how to do Bondo, you could tell. Because it was just a giant hole. So I think I sprayed foam in there. And, uh, and then I let the foams dry and then I just like kind of sanded it and cut it, got it as flat as I could. And then I think I mixed the Bondo and added it all in here. Um, which like I said, it, it kind of looks like it's supposed to be like that, but whatever. Same thing right here. This like people that do body work, man, I wish I knew you guys. Cause I didn't know how to fix this. This was like holes. So I just cut these pieces on there and then I just, I couldn't figure out this part. So yeah, that's something I'll have to figure out one day. Uh, same thing right here. When I cut this off, I feel I didn't know what to do, so I just filled it with foam, let it harden, and I, I like sawed it off cleanly, and then I just added the bondo. Um, and then of course this kept coming up, so I just taped that. But um, I mean, other than that, if you when you when we're driving it and we're going by people. Uh, usually they record it or they honk or they're just like, what the? They do a double take for sure. But yeah, I like doing stuff like this. It's um, it's not to impress anybody. It's just something that I want to do. So anyways, yeah, I like doing projects like that. So it's back to these babies. Uh, hopefully I could do that maybe this weekend. I don't know. The weather looks like it's going to be pretty bad. Um, but who knows? We'll see. All right. Uh, thank you, guys. We'll see what's my next project. Also, it's a, it is a 2002 Honda Accord. It's a V6, so it's, it goes pretty fast. It's got a pretty good engine. It actually runs really good. Um, the only thing I've noticed, and I'm not a mechanic, like an auto mechanic, I notice if we start it, it has to warm up for at least five minutes. If not, maybe it's the transmission going out. Like I said, I, I don't know. I, I just I don't drive it often. I drive it very rarely. Um, I noticed that when you put it in drive, it'll like, boom, like it'll, if, if you don't warm it up, it'll like, like catch and then it'll kind of jerk. But if you do let it warm up, man, you can't even tell. So yeah, that's maybe just cause it sits here for so long without driving. Um, I keep the battery disconnected cause I get tired. Cause like I said, I don't drive it often, so I don't want to keep jumping it and jumping it and jumping it. So I just disconnect the battery and usually it starts up, as soon as I connect it, it starts up right away. So it's not for sale. I don't think I'll ever sell it. I think if anything, if I come into uh, some money or who knows, maybe just a project on my own, I, eventually I would love to sand it, paint it, and maybe uh, paint it like a burgundy red because I like the Niners. So, you know, maybe make it burgundy. Uh, who knows? Uh, the interior, I don't think I'll ever change the interior. I don't really care, like I said. Um, it's just a car for me to mess around in. So, so anyways, yeah, some people were asking what kind of, what was it and stuff like that. So, all right, you guys have a good day.